Kick Guru's reviews of Intel's new Core i9-13900K and Core i5-13600K have been going down well with you, the Kick Guru audience. However, you've also been wondering, where on earth is our review of a Core i7-13700K? I responded to a few of the comments below our videos to explain the situation, which is, haven't yet got it. And then I gave up answering that same question because it got a little bit dull. But happy days, I now have a Core i7-13700K. I've had a lovely week. I spent a few days in Portugal with my good lady wife, and when I returned home, this package was waiting for me from Intel. It's the new Core i7. It's gonna take me but a few seconds to unpack it. So before I do that, I'm gonna tell you about my days off. Lisbon is fabulous. It's a city with altitude rather than attitude, very narrow streets, loads of up and down, gorgeous views, you're right on an enormous river that looks like the sea, it is superb. Plenty of history, as a seafaring nation the Portuguese have a thing for canned fish, and also custard tarts they call pastéis de nata. The combination of very narrow streets, erratic parking, and old trams made for some hysterical situations. Keen to go back there at some point. And now, on to the Core i7. Which looks like that. Now why am I, and indeed the Kit Guru audience, interested in the Core i7-13700K? The answer is easy. The core count, the core configuration of the new Core i7 matches the core configuration of the 12th gen Core i9. Eight performance cores, eight E cores, whereas the new Core i9 has eight performance cores, 16 E cores. So with this Core i7, we can compare to the Core i9 12th gen processor, and we can get a better feel for how well the new P cores perform. We've been deeply impressed by the performance of the 13th gen Core i9, less wowed by the power draw, which is fairly hideous. The new Core i5, that's a belter. If this Core i7 gives us most of the Core i9 performance, and yet it costs about 500 pounds rather than 700 pounds, that's gonna be interesting to behold. I'm about to start benchmarking the new Core i7, and as soon as I've got that done, I'll be hitting you with a full review in the very near future. Watch this space.